Shalom, 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 shalom. Greetings, everyone. Hope all is well. We wanted to finish up the teaching on the promises to the Jews and Gentiles in Yache. So, I'm going to jump right into it with uh, John 4 and 24, please. So, we did the uh, exhortation to our nations. Uh, I was gracious unto us. I hope that you all watch it and gain some good encouragement to work our righteousness and I want to touch on examples of the Gentiles receiving the opportunity in Mishiach even when Mishiach was on the earth. All right, so John 4 and 24 please. Elohim is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. And notice spirit this is why there's neither Jew nor Greek bond no free circumcision or uncircumcision barbarian no Scythian, but mishiach is all and in all right. because according to the spirit it, it does not matter what bloodline you're from the spirit of mishiach are working in all those that pay allah and keep his commandments and we're going to look at a woman of canaan a canaanite woman in matthew 15 22 to 28 matthew chapter 15 verse 22 and behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Adonai, thou son of Dewey, my daughter, grievously vexed with the devil. And can you touch at Mark 7 and 26 to confirm that this woman is a woman as not of the tribes of Israel? Okay. Because this is the same story being recounted in Mark 7 and 26. Please. Mark 7 and 26. The woman was a Greek. And a psychophoenician by nation. And that shows you that being called a Greek doesn't only mean you're a Gentile. Right. Because she was a Greek by way of life, but a Syrophoenician by nation. Her bloodline, she was actually a Syrophoenician. Right. right. And she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. Right. Can you go back to Matthew, please? Right. Uh, Matthew 15 and 23. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Ichideala. Now understand, this is just a test to see, is the woman truly believing that she can be saved? Is she going to abide and just cleave unto faith, no uh -huh. matter what? Because Yache doesn't deny anybody that wants to be saved. Right. He just testing to see, right? right? So here it goes. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Now that's amazing. That shows humility. Right. He told her, I came not but for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He didn't. Of course, you know he's I'm the meekest of the meek. Right. He told it to her simply, hey, this is what you know, this is what the father gave him to do. And look at her response. She came and worshipped. Saying, Adonia, help me. Showing, okay, that's what you came to do, but she still knew she needed help. Right? right? Continue. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. He's using a parable. He's right. not calling the woman a dog. He's using a parable to see, is she listening? Right. This meat is for Ichiriala. It's not meat to take this and then give it to dogs. So he said, I don't want to take the meat that this I have for these right. people. This is the bread of life. Right. And I cast it to somebody who don't want it. This was amazing what was transpiring with this woman. Right. It's just putting the test to see if she's listening intently. Right. Because she goes on to say, And she said, Truth, Adonia, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. She was listening intently to be able to have the right response to show, Hey, you still have bread for me. Right. I'm not an Israelite, but there's bread for me as well. Right. And what you take it? much, but I'll take it. Right. I be praising. Hear his response to her. Then Yahshua answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even if thou wilt. 
and her daughter would make holes from that very hour. So there we see it. the end result shows what the discussion was about. Right. He was only trying to see where her faith was. Because it's always been about faith. And therefore, we encourage the Gentiles to be faithful. Don't let anybody take the opportunity from you in Yachi Mashiach. The purpose we went there for is to show Gentiles could be saved. Even Yache, when he was on the earth, was not keeping the Gentiles from the opportunity to be saved. Anyone that faith Allah Hyman believed would receive the healing that Allah Hyman is offering to all the world. And all of those that pray Allah Hyman and work and keep his commandments. And we're going to look at this woman that's speaking with Yache. She is a woman of Samaria, and by the time Yache had came on the earth, when the northern kingdom had got sent out in, by the Assyrians, they actually replaced the northern kingdom with Gentiles. We're going to read about that in Second Kings 17, verse 24. And the king of Assyria brought men from Babylon and from Cuthid, and from Ava, and from Hamath, and from Sephardim. Mm -hmm. And placed them in the cities of Samaria instead of the children of Israela, and they possessed Samaria and dwelt in the cities thereof. So there we see they had foreigners in the land. All right. So there we see those five nations that are brought. Jump to verse twenty-nine. Uh, verse twenty-nine. Howbeit every nation made Elohim for their own, and put them in the houses of the high places which the Samaritans have made. Every nation in their cities wherein they dwelt. Mm -hmm. Unto, here, 30, I'm at 34 right now. Please. Unto this day they do after the former manner. They fear not Ahaya, neither do they after their statutes, or after their ordinances, or after the law and commandment which Ahaya commanded the children of Yaakobia, whom he named Echeriala. So you see, they continued in that idolatry. They never stopped. Though they were claiming this for Ahaya, yet you see they were still worshiping their idols. Can right. you jump to verse 40 and 41? Uh, verse 40, Howbeit they did not hearken, but they did after their former manner. So these nations feared Ahaya and served their graven images, both their children and their children's children, as did their fathers, so do they unto this day. So we have the scriptural history of who these Samaritans are. Now we go back to John chapter 4, read verse 6 to 25, please. John chapter 4, verse 6. Now Jacobus well was there, Yache, therefore being weary with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Yache saith unto her, Give me water to drink. For his disciples were going away unto the city to buy meat. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, how is it that thou being a Jew askest drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? So now you can understand why she's saying that because yeah. remember the Samaritans were not Israelites. That's why when Yahshua came on earth, he said, Go not into the way of the Samaritans, but go ye unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Because the Samaritans were not Israelites. As you can understand, if he says, Do not go to the Samaritans, or don't go into Samaria, but go unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That lets you know the Samaritans are not Israelites. Right. Okay. So this is why she's like, Hi, why are you speaking to me when you're a Jew? Because we are separated from the Gentiles up right. there because there was, there was enmity. They hated us. They try anytime they had opportunity, they would help someone else destroy us. Right. All right. Continue. For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Mm -hmm. Yahweh answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of Elohim, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me water to drink? Thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. And that's amazing. And the living water is the Holy Spirit. Right. And know that she's a Gentile. The purpose we went there for is to show Gentiles could be saved. Even Yache, when he was on the earth, was not keeping the Gentiles from the opportunity to be saved. Anyone that faith Allah Hyman believed would receive the healing. That Allah is offering to all the world. Continue. The woman saith unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou that living water? Of course, she didn't understand what he was saying. Right. Art thou greater than our father Yaakov, which gave us the well, 
and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle. They started to act like they were related to us. Right. So by the time Yache came, she's talking as if she's actually an Israelite. <laughs> right? Good to you. And Yache answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. And the water he was given is the Holy Spirit. Continue. The woman saith unto him, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Yahshua saith unto her, Go, call thy husband, and come hither. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Yahshua said unto her, Thou hast well said, I have no husband. For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband, and that said it thou truly. And the woman saith unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. As he just told her what she'd been doing all her life, right? right. Continue. Our fathers worship in this mountain. Now, this is key. She's saying our fathers. And she's speaking truly because we just read how the Samaritans had been worshiping their idols from the time they had got into the land and they continued throughout the generations of their children. Right. Right. Continue. Our fathers worship in this mountain. And ye say, that in Yorochalam is the place where men ought to worship. Now, he's going to clarify, it isn't even about the mountain. Right. It's about the spirit, and that's what he's going to explain here. Yate saith unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain, nor yet in Yorochalam worship the Father. Right. You worship ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. He said, you worship, you know not what. Because he, as he was telling her in sincerity, you don't know what you're worshiping. Right. Because her fathers had been lied to and she had received lies. Because we read the history of how there was Gentiles that were brought in and they continued worshiping idols. Right. So he was trying to let her know, you actually don't know what you're actually worshiping. Right. Right. Continue. But the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh them to worship him. Elohim is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. All right, and now this is a Gentile woman, and we will see what continues what happens, and we will see that Yahshua didn't reject her from the opportunity of salvation. For him. The woman saith unto him, I know that Meshiach cometh, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. Yahshua saith unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. Alright, told us straightly. Right. And upon this came his disciples and marveled that he talked with the woman. And they're marveling. Now right. you're going to understand why they marvel because she's a Samaritan. Right. Right, continue. Yet no man said, What seekest thou? Or why talkest thou with her? Mm -hmm. The woman then left her water pot and went her way into the city and saith to the men, Come, see a man which told me all things that ever I did. Is not this the Messiah? So she believed. Right. This is a Gentile believing, right? Continue. Then they went out of the city and came unto him. In the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. Because his meat is to be the will of his father, right. to gather his flock. Now, this is amazing. These are Gentiles. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he knew what the work was. Right. He has to gather all nations unto the Father. Them that are of the Jews and those that are called of the Gentiles. That's his meat to do the will of Allah. Hayyam. Continue. Right. Therefore said the disciples one to another, Have any man brought him all to eat? And they're still learning. Right. They didn't right. understand right. what he was saying yet. Continue. Yahweh said unto them, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes, and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. He's talking about harvesting those that are called of the earth. Right. Taking his wheat and separating them from the tears. That's right. And this also lets you know that there had been Gentiles that were called. Right. All right, continue. And he that reapeth receiveth wages, and gathereth fruit unto life eternal. Right. That both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together. And herein is that saying, True, one soweth and another reapeth. Right. 
and I sent you to reap that whereon you bestow no labor. Other <laughs> men labored, and ye are entered into their labor. Because the law and the prophets, they're the ones that labored. Right. They planted the seed of Yahweh. Right. Because the woman, as the woman was aware that Mishiach had to come. So the prophets had already laid the seed. Right. And now he's, of course, not right at this time because he's teaching his disciples, but right. he's teaching them how to reap off of that seed that was sown. And Mishiach is that seed. And so he's telling his disciples things that they didn't understand entirely. And in the end, he had expounded the understanding to make them understand what he was telling them. All right. Continue. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him for the saying of the woman which testified. He told me all that ever I did. So there we see the Gentiles were believing on Yahweh, right? Yes, they did. Continue. So when the Samaritans were come unto him, they besought him that he would tarry with them, and he abode there two days. Mm -hmm. And many more believed because of his own word, and said unto the woman, Now we believe, not because of thy saying, for we have heard him ourselves, and know that this is indeed Messiah, the Savior of the world. And there we see that even the Gentiles received Yahche when he was on the earth. And therefore, we encourage the Gentiles to be faithful. Don't let anybody take the opportunity from you in Yahche Mashiach. There is indeed is opportunity for you. You see, you read of Yahche speaking with Gentiles straightly himself and them receiving that opportunity in him. All right? All right. See you all soon. All right. Zala. Hebrew reader, Hebrew reader, Hebrew reader, church.